Welcome to this demonstration video of the new features in Cyclone version 8. In this video, we'll be covering the new model library. This allows you to save complex assemblies into a catalog. You can save the assembly or model into a catalog and then reinsert it later into another model space or the same model space. I'll be showing you how to create a model library assembly. First you select the items you wish to be included. I'm just going to go ahead and save off this part by selecting it and then launching a new model space. Okay, and this makes sure that I have all the items I need and some that I don't, I just simply delete. I don't want to save that into my model. Okay, here we go. Next I need an image and I'm just going to use a screen capture utility to collect that image. Here we go. Save the image. Save as. And I'm just going to give it a name here. Tank 300. There we go. After I've saved an image, I just want to go ahead and select all the elements that I want to save. And then the tool is located under the Model Library Manager Save Model. And on the left I have the libraries basically folders where the models are inside of, and the assemblies, which are the individual groups of uh, modeled objects. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new library called Tanks ABC, and I'm going to name this Tank 300. And I'm going to go ahead and browse for the image. Tank 300 is right here. You can see the image is put in place. And I'm going to say save. So that uh, entire assembly is now saved to the model library manager. So let's go ahead and close the model space. And then go back to our original model space. I'm going to go ahead and delete the assembly as a test and I'm going to go ahead and reinsert and show you how I place an assembly from the model library. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the ground here. And go to tools, model library manager, insert model brings up our insert model dialog. I've just made this library. There's only one assembly in it. And you can see here for each model you save there's a picture that gets saved along with it so you know what you're inserting. Go ahead and insert that model. And here it is inserted. Now I can either move this, it's a grouped object and I can just move it around, or I can use our new quick move command to really place it very quickly and very accurately. I'm going to go ahead and just pick the center there and then pick the center here and use our quick move. Boom. Puts it right into place. There we go. It's right where it was. The model library can be used to save any number of assemblies and this can be made to increase your efficiency of your modeling process. You don't have to make pumps again and again say you've got a lot of pump assemblies that you insert and create all the time, such as this one down here, or this piping structures, you know, U-bends are very common, or bents, or any number of complex structures, including ladder assemblies. This ladder assembly can be saved and reinserted any time. So please try out the new Model Library Manager for inserting complex assemblies and saving them into a catalog. Another nice feature of the model library is the file system used to save the libraries. Within the Cyclone directory under Cyclone, Cyclone model library is the files for all the parts that have been created, including the Leica provided samples. What is very nice about this is you can transfer the entire library between installations of Cyclone, either from within the company or to another company for their use. So please consider this when using the Cyclone model library.